Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, back again. Sorry for the uh, late delay. I've been uh, in school. School was like crazy the last quarter, at least for me. Um, so I didn't have time to make any videos or anything like that. But now I'm on vacation. I've been off for about two weeks just trying to relax a little bit. I uh, caught up on sleep for the first week. Now I'm actually doing a little bit of reviewing. Um, Anyways, uh, I gathered some stuff for, for you guys maybe to get more insight as far as like, you know, you know, incoming uh, freshmen that are going to start their pre-med years. Um, but uh, first thing off, uh, I just saw this pretty awesome movie the other day. Uh, it's called The Ben Carson Story. Um, it's a really good motivating movie. Uh, go out and see if you could rent it out or watch it. Uh, I know they showed it on Showtime and various different channels. And it also has a little book about it too, uh, Ben Carson there. Um, really good motivating uh, movie. I mean, if you guys need some motivation, definitely watch this movie, The Ben Carson Story. Uh, the book, I mean, it's it's just as good too, but it's it, I like the movie. Uh, it's it's played out um, quite well. Um, next thing I want to show you guys real quick, uh, it's just to show you guys some of the courses that I took this year that most of you guys are gonna probably be taking the same. Uh, I think I believe the same textbooks at least for these subjects that I've took. Except for maybe calculus, because mathematics is different in most universities. Um, my first book, real quick, is was this calculus book here, uh, the Applied Calculus. Um, basically, you two. I mean, you all you do is you do two things in, in calculus. Uh, don't get intimidated by it. I was really scared about this course going into it, uh, but it turns out it was it was quite easy once you start seeing what they're trying to do. And the main things that you do is derivatives, which is all, don't even be scared of those. Derivatives is all college algebra, and then towards the end, you simplify it or whatever, and then you do these rules, that these simple formulas that you plug in, and boom, you find the derivatives. And then integrals are just working backwards, uh, and you find areas of, uh, you know, different uh, graphs. I mean, it's it's really simple once you find out what they're trying to do and try, or, or what direction this math is trying to go to. So don't be intimidated by this situation. It's not a big deal. Um, next thing is the, for people that are going to do the biology series for the MCAT, is this, uh, Campbell's, uh, biology. Um, it's a pretty big book. Uh, you took it for, uh, usually it's for a whole year, a series. Um, and it's, it's, uh, quite difficult in the beginning, especially with the, with just the cellular physiology, uh, you know, chapters and all, but it's not as so bad. It's, it's fun. I mean, if you're a bio major, you'll, you'll love this, uh, just a lot of memorization. Um, and what I, in this book, I think it's it's most universities do use this book due to the fact that um, I know my friends that go to Loma Linda here in California, uh, the Loma Linda Sister School, which is La Sierra University, and they use this same textbook. So I mean, this is a, a real good textbook that I believe most uh, schools do use. This is the older edition one, so um, you might have one that looks a little newer, but this is the Biology Campbell. Next for the general chemistry on the MCAT that I that our school used with this chemistry the central science book uh, I believe most schools use this book too as well um, uh, it's really it's the first half of it or at least the first section of the theory of, this, of the uh, the series is just mainly um, basic math I believe I mean it's just uh, stoichiometric relationships um, determining molecular formulas I mean it's not that bad second half was pretty brutal at least for me especially the labs. We had two labs per week for this uh, 216, the, the, the following second half of the book. And it was the thermodynamics of chemistry and determining like uh, just uh, different rates and, and speeds. And it's, 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 um, it's a big hassle. Uh, it's a big difference between the first one and the second half of, of general chemistry. Uh, study hard in the second half. Uh, it's, it's, it's a hassle. Um, Next thing I want to say, so far I've basically only been, I've slept for a whole week and I've now I've had a week to just do a little bit of studying and reviewing and the book that I've read so far that was, it's quite interesting and I, I truly uh, enjoyed reading it, it was Confessions of a Surgeon, a uh, really good book, uh, just the, um, it, every chapter had about two uh, cases and then he, he explains the cases and, and he also explains to you what he learned about it, so I mean a really Really good book, Confessions of a Surgeon. Uh, real motivating book too as well. Next, oh, also um, going into my last quarter, I didn't understand uh, like, as far as like statistics are concerned. And in my biology class, we went crazy in depth in genetics and statistics and stuff that I've never even seen before. So it was real difficult for me. And 
I spent days trying to understand statistics and what it was trying to do and what they meant. So, I mean, if you do, honestly, I don't think it's a requirement for most medical schools that you take statistics course. I mean, some do require, some don't. And sometimes for your major, they don't require statistics. Um, but I do recommend if you believe that it might not mess up your GP and you might be able to pull an A off of it, I would definitely recommend taking statistics course. Uh, because at least for our school, when I took my last biology series in that book, Campbell, our teacher, rec uh, we had to use another book here. I mean, if you guys are take about to take the MCAT and need help in reviewing at least some of the genetics, I mean, this book went way in depth on it here. It's uh, Genetics by Nickerson. I'll, I'll post the name of and the author on the bottom of this video. And, I mean, if you guys really want an in-depth genetics um, for just your general biology for the MCAT, this book is, is a killer. I mean, this book really goes in-depth and comp I mean, it just goes through every single thing that you may see as far as a genetic set problem in biology, I mean, it's it, it's pretty good. It covers everything as, as genetics, way more in depth than just the Camel book alone. Most schools don't do this, but we had to read this book while doing the Camel book in my last quarter in biology. Definitely worth investing in if you're gonna take the MCAT and if you have problems just in general genetics, I guess, um, prior to taking the MCAT. Really good book. Um, next, oh, back to the statistics sections of it. Um, anyways, if if you out not taking a statistics, I mean statistics course, I probably wouldn't take a statistics course because it's it's really confusing. Um, but here are the things that you might want to review before you go into a biology course where they might have some of the statistics in it because they didn't warn me before going into this biology class that you know we had to know a little bit of statistics. But basically, know if you're gonna take it, basically know what a chi square is, a chi square, a chi square test. Uh, standard deviation that most people are familiar with, a t-test, a correlation test, and be able to know what a null hypothesis is and how to reject a certain score of a t-test or not and accept or reject a null hypothesis. That's important. Um, now, um, also to, I've, I've heard horror stories about the MCAT, so, I mean, I've only done my first half of general bio and chemistry and, of course, my calculus, and coming up now, I'm going to take my physics and my organic chemistry, but I'm already reviewing for the MCAT as far as what I've covered thus far, um, and I've heard people tell me that when they were taking the MCAT, I mean, people are literally, like, breaking down during the exam and crying, and people are walking out, and even during breaks, people are just breaking down completely, uh, you know, it's a, it's a, tough exam so don't take it lightly and like I said I've been reviewing I've been at least putting in about eight to ten hours a day uh, right now just for the MCAT just on general biochemistry I'm rereading the books and I'm doing more research and I'm you know I'm using these like uh, flashcards these I mean I wouldn't use these as a basis of just to study but it, it's uh, they're, they're fun uh, to play around with biology in a chemistry flashcards I got this at Barnes and Nobles I mean they're really really good I didn't think they were gonna cover as in depth but it, they're fun I mean you flip through them a few a day and you know it's a good review uh, definitely worth investing in if you have the money um, next thing I wanna say is uh, also to for my biology class at least um, that I was telling you about the genetics course familiarize yourself with research papers maybe go on to your school's um, uh, library website and just pull up some research papers and, and get used to familiar, familiarize yourself using it because we had to do a, like my, my research paper came out to about 25 pages from a biology class that we had to turn in at the end for our final grade for our laboratory section so I mean just familiar familiarize yourself with what research papers look like the format the abstract you know just different sections of it because I never wrote a research paper before until then and it was it was uh, it was a hassle, let's just say that, um, but I got used to it. But just, you know, go on and read some research papers in biology or chemistry and familiarize yourself with them. Uh, next thing I want to say is a lot of people have been talking to me about, like, reviewing for the MCAT, and they say a lot of more, most people that have taken the MCAT have said that Princeton Review has helped them a lot, um, and that's the book of, of their choice, at least the Princeton Review is. And also a lot of people say, because I live in California, that Princeton has certain uh, like boot camp kind of classes down in San Diego where they go for like uh, two to two to three months. And it's just a pure just MCAT, MCAT, just review nonstop, which I'll probably be enrolled in next year because I'll take my MCATs next summer. So I'll probably do that prior to taking the MCATs. Um, next thing I want to say is start preparing yourself before next quarter starts. Uh, it's important just to kind of get ahead and familiarize yourself so when you start, because it's a massive information, you don't want to get too confused. And what I've bought so far is I've got this organic chemistry from Domestified, which I've showed before. I have this physics books. And these books are just mainly just on theories and just trying to understand the concepts of this, the subjects. And then I have these other two books here, which is just fun books. Um, these are Barron's E through Z 
just uh, this is the chemistry one I've been reviewing, but physics, and I also have an OCHEM one too, and it just helps just do some practice problems. Just kind of familiarize yourself with this uh, subject. Uh, last off, I want to go off by telling you guys to, uh, especially you incoming uh, freshmen or going on to sophomores, um, start for the summer if you have nothing to do, uh, start doing some medical related jobs. That's why I have my EMT license so I could, um, you know, work at a hospitals or, you know, just even community service if you have your EMT card, it looks uh, well and, you know, you're able to find yourself, um, you know, you could do more uh, if you're doing community service with an EMT card. Also join clubs if you can. I'm joining uh, the AMSA club at our college and it's just a, a medical uh, club to help you expose yourself to medicine and related fields and also community service and in that um, next thing is to talk to your teachers and your department of biology or chemistry. I've emailed a few professors and I'm talking to. I'm gonna actually go to their office next week and just talk to them. You know, just to just to get to know them and also for like future letter recommendations and and also just to get information about how I could get ahead during the summer. Um, you know, to place me better as far as getting us up into the MCAT. So I'm actually gonna go to a few and so don't be afraid to email them. And most importantly now, just spend time with your family and friends and, and enjoy yourself for a little bit uh, because once school starts again, it's going to be, uh, it's going to, it's going to get you. It's fun though. Um, keep at it. Stay motivated. Sorry for the late response videos. I've been busy as heck, um, especially last quarter. And I'll try to come up with more videos once I get more information. I've talked to a lot. I'll, I have talked to a few more people that are actually in medical school and people that are that already taken the MCATs and I'll let you know what they have to say and give you more information. Okay. Have a good one.